Hi guys! Today I have for you a gastritis update. I will tell you what's been going on with my stomach recently and I will be also answering the most common questions that I get regularly regarding my gastritis and gastritis diet. And I also wanted to let you know that I created a playlist dedicated to all my gastritis related videos. So I will link it, I believe, in this corner and also in the video description. And now let's jump right into this. The number one question that I keep getting on a regular basis is, are you healed or do you still have gastritis? So I have chronic gastritis and to be honest, I'm not sure if I will ever get 100% rid of it. However, I am 100% symptom free right now, which feels so wonderful. So I don't have any cramps, I don't have any pain, heartburn, nothing. I feel really good and my diet is not the cleanest diet ever. I'm still on a plant-based diet, I love it, I enjoy occasionally a cup of coffee or a soda and stuff like that, but I learned the hard way that I should not get too crazy with these things. So I had about three setbacks throughout the last six or seven months. One of them was entirely my fault because I got too crazy with drinking coffee and I've never been a coffee drinker so my stomach was actually never really used to it but I kind of developed a taste for a really nice espresso. I just like thick black coffee that's steaming and you know the smell it's just the scent is wonderful it just it wakes you up even with the scent so I've been drinking occasionally an espresso in the morning with my breakfast and I felt like, oh, let's have another one in the afternoon and maybe a second one. And about three weeks later, my stomach said, you know what, we're not doing this again. I'm very upset with you. And I got the most horrible pain and cramps and I felt I, like I would vomit. It was, it was really crazy. So I had to go back to the diet that I had from my nutritionist and I really followed it to the T. I made sure I wouldn't eat anything fried, anything that was too acidic, nothing too hot, nothing too cold. So I've been a good girl for three weeks and then everything was back to normal. And then the two other setbacks kind of felt like they came out of no nowhere, but they were gone in about two or three days when I would just you know, sit down and think like, okay, what am I going to eat? And I picked the meals that I liked the most from my meal plan and that just helped me. So basically I've been eating mostly uh, a stir fry, vegetable stir fry with a little bit of tempeh and rice. And I've been drinking herbal teas like um, marshmallow root tea, which is something I will talk about in a minute. I've been drinking nettle tea, mint tea, chamomile tea, and I made sure that it was rather lukewarm and then my stomach calmed down. So you can live with chronic gastritis, you can have a perfectly normal life as long as you follow certain rules, as long as you don't get crazy. So far I haven't discovered any wonder cure that would, you know, like make it completely go away apparently, but I'm really great and right now I'm even baking for Christmas. So it's fine, I can have my chocolates, I can have the occasional, you know, like cheat meals, like a really fatty veggie burger or nice cool soda, but it's just something I can't do all the time because my stomach would not thank me for that. The next question that I get very often was about the tea that I've been drinking regularly that helped me so much. So it was marshmallow root tea. I kept calling it in my previous videos mallow root tea because that was the only translation I could find into English and someone then suggested in the comments could it be marshmallow root tea? So I googled marshmallow root and lo and behold Google spat out exactly this Latin name so I knew yay it's marshmallow root tea. So yes guys it's marshmallow root tea and this is how I buy it in our local pharmacy. It's been recommended to me by one of the ladies that work in the pharmacy and the way it works is you take one teaspoon of the chopped root and mix it with one glass of water and let it sit for at least an hour or two, ideally overnight. I've been drinking it first thing in the morning, just the liquid, you throw away the root by the way. And the thing is the liquid is kind of oily, slimy, and that's what protects the stomach lining. And it helped me to get rid of my medicine. I've been taking Pantalog at the beginning 
but you're not supposed to take Pantolog any longer than six months. There are some issues that it can cause in the body. I don't remember exactly everything, but I know there was something also about magnesium. So I was super happy that I could replace Pantolog after only three months with this tea and I never looked back. Now, when I had now the three setbacks, the first setbacks I told you took much longer. I actually forgot about this tea. And when I remembered, I started drinking in, in the morning and then I would say like the last week I've been drinking it twice a day and that was definitely even better. The last two setbacks that I had that were super short might have been so short because I've been drinking this tea even three times a day. It might have been coincidence, but whenever I feel like I have heartburn or when I get little cramps, I immediately make this tea and it helped me so much. And I have a friend who also has chronic gastritis and she tried this tea. She didn't like the taste. It has a very distinct taste. So some of you might hate it, but it's totally worth drinking it anyway. So she said she had to force herself to drink it, but she loved it and it helped her also so quickly. So now she has a bag of the tea at home too and she just closes her eyes and you know, holds her nose so that she doesn't really smell it, taste it. But whenever she would have a setback, she would drink it. And, and she's like, wow, this is, this is amazing. So highly recommend this tea. The third question that I keep getting is about how long it took me to heal. Now, I wouldn't consider myself being healed from chronic gastritis because it's still somewhere there, it's still in the background, but I've been healed from the symptoms for the first time when I started dealing with chronic gastritis in about seven months. And more about how I noticed that my stomach was healing in one of my previous videos. I will link it here in the right corner and also in the video description. So in general, I would say just because it took me seven months doesn't mean it's going to be like that for anybody else. We are all different. We have all different health histories, different immune systems. And especially if you have in general a weaker immune system, it might take longer. Some people might heal shorter. I would say don't try to compare yourself too much to others. It's always good to hear, you know, like a ballpark number, but if it takes a little bit longer, don't get discouraged. It might be that just your body needs a little bit more time. And in general, I wanted to say from what I read in the comments, some of you guys have been dealing with gastritis for so long and my heart goes to every single one of you. If I could, I would just give you a hug through the camera because I know how daunting that feels, how debilitating that is in day-to-day -day life, how hard that is living with pain, with nausea, and being afraid of eating things because you know that could cause the next uh, pain and, and it's just the next set of cramps. It, it's really horrible. Like for me, the seven months sometimes felt like seven years and I know I didn't have the worst case, right? But it still felt really horrible sometimes and it took a toll on me physically and mentally too because I've been just so exhausted from all of that. So I really pray that every single one of you is going to heal one day rather sooner than later and that when that you're gonna come to this channel and write me in the comments, hey, Lara, I'm doing so much better and it looks like all the pain is gone. That would make me the happiest. Next question that I get very often is whether I had H. pylori infection that would cause my gastritis. So H. pylori is a bacteria that uh, causes gastritis and that needs to be treated with antibiotics. It was not the case. I had gastroscopy done and the doctor specifically checked for this bacteria and it was negative. By the way, if you find this video so far helpful, don't forget to boop the like button. Thank you very much. And now to the last question for today. I get very often questions about my diet, what I was eating and drinking during the time when I was healing. Now, I talked about that a lot in my previous videos. Again, they are saved in the playlist dedicated to gastritis and the playlist is linked down below. I have also a few what I eat in a day videos with gastritis diet, so that might be also helpful. And in general, I would say what you have to imagine is that gastritis is an inflammation in your stomach. So if you would have a wound 
on your hand, you would not want to pour any juices on it because they are high in acid and that would burn. You would not want to put salt in your wound because that would burn. You would certainly not like to sprinkle chili on your wound because that would send you straight to hell. And what also would not be comfortable would be anything too hot or too cold uh, or God forbid, hot oil. So basically no fry foods uh, if you have gastritis nothing that's too hot, nothing that's too cold, nothing high in acid, rather simpler meals and anything that's gentle for your stomach. Uh, and I will look for the links that I also listed in the other videos descriptions. That will lead you to a homepage with a list of foods that are okay and that are not okay if you have gastritis. And in general, I would say if you have symptoms that make you believe that you have gastritis, definitely go to a doctor. You need to find out what the cause is, whether it's chronic gastritis or whether it's bacterial infection, because bacterial infection needs to be dealt with. Antibiotics, otherwise you're not going to get better. Or maybe it's something else. It's always good to get examined first if you can do that, because that might give you the necessary answers and that will help you to find a way to heal as fast as possible. And again, to anybody who is dealing with gastritis, huge hug guys. I am so sorry because I know how hard it is, but I promise it can get better. And for the next video, I thought I will sit down and I will go through all comments from my previous gastritis videos and I'll read them and answer them also in the video because that way it's going to be kind of all in one place and some of the answers might be useful for you. So don't forget to subscribe, stay tuned. I believe the video should be up next week. This time I'm not gonna take so much time. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you guys very much. God bless you and see you soon. Bye.